Alright, welcome back to Common Rider Review, episode number 108. We are here discussing episodes... Uh, yeah, 108. 42 to 45. 42 and 43 are noteworthy for having the, well, two of the last four mutants introduced in this, in this particular series. And I should point out, though, after 43, we don't see the Under Mutants again until episode 46. Yes. Actually, we're like 47, mostly. So, in 42, this is the standard thing of Comrade. Let's have an episode where, oh, let's launch an all-on attack at Tokyo and bring back a bunch of dead mutants. Now, this is perfectly standard. Except that you didn't see these in the movies. Now, this is probably the first time they've done this in the main series in years. Where, at this point in time, probably this aired. I think the last they ever did this where... They brought back mutants that have been killed off in the series. I think it was back during the original Commander series they actually did this. They just, a lot, it's like five or six times. Yeah. So, this that was quite interesting. I did not really expect this, because, because we just had this in the second movie, and now we're doing it again for this episode. Yeah, and of course, now, normally, the same procedure is, when it comes to these movies, like, oh yeah, but you have these resurrected monsters killed off in the course of the series. There's an army of them, and we have, of course, there's a monster, in the case of this episode, which is basically a... Uh, I don't... It's not Stag Beetle. That's the next episode. Let's see. What monster was it? Because it was the previous monster for that one. It was the Fly Mutant. Yeah, the Fly Mutant. Now, with this particular one, basically, like, he's... Okay, so they bring him in, and normally the procedure is, even in this even this series, they have armor as recognized monsters, but usually the usual procedure... Bring in the previous comrades to help out the current comrade have them basically deal with the monsters. Mostly put that same procedure to show error. Not in the case of Black, because here's the thing. Now, we don't have the original comrades, the previous comrades come back, not until the very next series, but I'll discuss that in a future review when, when, when I get to that point. So, deals with the monsters, there was an attack, and apparently it's all psychic based. Yes, second base because he's two brothers. Eventually put things up pretty quickly and the monster's defeated. The very next episode features basically the third to last monster, the Stag Beetle. Which is, the plot of this one is interesting. It's not one of these episodes we have an underground war for Golem and it's underneath a apartment complex. Where it's got this, oh, thing for 21st century, like, oh, it just, like, oh, how should I put this? It's got proper AC, it's computer... It's basically active via, via wristwatch. Now, here's the thing. The whole thing of not using a key for apartments much. Well, this actually is something the hotels would use with key cards, not like individual keys. But for apartment buildings, I think as far as I can tell, they still use regular keys, even at this point in time. And this is probably an interesting idea, though apparently those 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 bracelets can also use for brainwashing by Golem to basically use the via life force feed and create the immunes. Which of course Cover Black finds out about them thanks to a kid, and of course gets dragged into it, which is quite interesting. And eventually the the landlord, who wanted to introduce all the thing, is in fact the stag beetle. That was interesting. Uh I didn't expect him to be particularly... I, I, I expect him working for Golem. I didn't expect him to be a one mutant. That, I thought, was a really interesting surprise there. Then he's defeated. Of course, they also knock out one of his horns. And then for the next two episodes, no mutants. None. 44 and 45 have no new mutants at all. Which is quite interesting. In the case of 45, they do mention that they can't, they, they can't afford to use any mutants. Probably at this point in time, they probably ran out of costumes, and they probably did have probably a couple more, but they probably weren't ready to use the story yet. 44 is a very weird episode, involving like a war field, same people all over the place, like, we have <coughs> Arcadia ends up in the tunnels of this, of this golem base, 
We have this guy swimming in his pool and ends up basically near a bunch of uh, girls doing aerobics. Well, basically work aerobics in the middle of a square, or at least basically on a hill. And we have people in office below. Oh, so I'm going to the beach and they all fall in the ocean. Well, mostly in the harbor, not near the beach mostly. Really interesting idea, this one. I thought that was a really fun idea for a whole warp field. Eventually, the field is destroyed, but no counter kick. And then 45 is sadly put the episode we had the final appearance of Besham, the female Grand Mutant and formerly High Priestess. She sadly dies this episode. This is her last appearance until a movie in, in, in Black RX. But in the main series, she's done. Completely done. She is, of course, like I mentioned, she does come back for the movie, but that was her last appearance overall in Comrader. But I'll get to that future, don't worry about that. So, the whole plot of this one is, is this weird thing of like having where women basically turn off the maternal instincts, is basically like, act like you don't care, or act being very lazy. We have these kids basically uh, wanting some food because they're hungry, and of course, the mother the just the one doesn't care. And eventually, this is all cause a bishop who creates flower makes women basically act different. So they're investigating the course basically. Well, Kikyo basically comes in. Of course, uh, of course, we also have where a bishop holds Commander Black. Now, Commander Black tries to use his moves, but they don't work. My guess is they probably didn't want to have gold. They probably did not want now. Here's the thing. They probably did not want to have. Black hitting the female female crew mem- uh, cast member. They probably didn't want to have him punch her or kick her. So this is the way of thinking out of it. Having Shadow Moon basically just blast it with laser beam, which is something that he never mentioned that before. But yeah, then he stops because basically his sister comes in. Now I do, now here's something interesting about forty three. I almost forgot to mention here that Kikyo and Katsumi do help out in freeing people, which is quite interesting. I like the fact these two do more than just. Appear briefly in some episodes here and they appear a lot more to doing stuff. They're not fighting villains per se, but they are helping out the best they can. Also, they, did, they have, or I think it's Kiko, takes a potted plant and uses to destroy a freaking machine that was meant to drain people's life force. Yes. So, Besham is defeated. Well, actually, she dies in this episode. The girls all escape with Comrade Black. So, Crazy King is angry, starts attacking the Grand Mutants and Shadow Moon himself. Not this handmaid, surprisingly, probably because he realizes, though, that they have nothing to do with what the heck is going on. They're just there for show. And, and of course, Game is like, it's not our fault. We have nothing to do with this plan. This is all basically Beneficial's plan. And, like, he's like, I, I don't need your actions or your words. I'll handle this. And, well, we have about... Not many more episodes f- featuring these characters. Now, in the case of one of them, one of the Grand Mutants will be eliminated. We'll, we'll basically have his last appearance in the series of Problem RX in the very next episode. But in the case of the other one, he won't be going away for a little while. But stuff starts gets wrapping up basically when we get to episode 49. Yep. But at this point in time... We just finished 45, so that means we have a total of six more episodes left to go. And then we're done with Black. And then we'll move on to Black RX. There is a clip show movie, which just in direction, uh, it's just narration of all the other commentators. I might be skipping that one because it's just a clip show. That's literally what it is. And I'll probably go straight to watching uh, RX probably after I finish this one up. Do I think possibly today I could finish it up? That's a maybe. It's a distinct maybe, but the next review, hopefully we're covering four episodes, and the last one we covered the last two episodes. So basically, by I'd say by 110 is probably when I'll cap off reviewing Black, and then 111 is our Black RX. Black RX is about the same length as this one, except it's four episodes shorter. Yes, seriously, four episodes shorter. Yep. And also, I forgot to mention when I started this, use here, this particular review for Black RX. It is only the fourth, uh, it's only the fifth of the original Comrade series to go to 50 episodes. Next one doesn't. Nope, it doesn't. Actually, it, yeah, it's actually the fourth because the original over 50 episodes, so the, the three, I know, um, Sky Raider did. Super 1 did not. Super 1, I think, it was like 48 episodes, I believe that one was. 
And this is the fourth one to reach 50 episodes. Yeah, the fourth one. Next one probably won't be until the Heisei era. Which I'll get to the future. Okay, so that's episode of you. I would do a video, but I gotta get going soon. So, see you in the next video. Bye.